Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 64 to the power of square root of x plus 1. This is equal to 8. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. We have 64 raised to the power of square root of x plus 1. This is equal to 8. The first step is to express 64 as 2 to the power of 6, then raised to the power of square root of x plus 1. This is equal to 8. Now, 2 to the power of 6 to the power of square root of x plus 1. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by square root of x plus 1. This is equal to 8, which is 2 to the power of 3. Now, since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases here are common here, then this means exponent n is equal to m. Now applying this property here, then we have 6 multiplied by square root of x plus 1. This is equal to 3. So the next step is to square on both sides. So that now, 6 times the square root of x plus 1 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a times b raised to the power of n. And this can be expressed as a to the power of n times b to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then we have 6 to the power of 2 times square root of x plus 1 raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 3 squared, which is 9. So 6 squared, this is 36, multiplying by, now let's eliminate the square root sign here, multiplying by x plus 1, this is equal to 9. So let's open the parentheses here. 36 times x, this is 36x, then plus 36 times 1, this is 36, then this is equal to 9. Let's take 36 on the right hand side, so that we have 36x, this is equal to 9, minus 36. So we have 36x, this is equal to 9 minus 36 and this is equal to minus 27 so to solve for x we divide both signs by 36 here we have 36 so let's simplify here so that now x is equal to we can simplify here um, 27 divided by 9 this is 3 36 divided by 9 this is 4 so we have minus 3 over 4. So this is the value of x. This is the value of x. Now the next step is to verify. So let's verify if this value of x here satisfies the equation. Now we have 64 raised to the power of square root of x plus 1. This should give us a value of 8. So we have 64 raised to the power of square root of minus 3 over 4 plus 1. This should give us a value of 8. Now we have here minus 3 over 4 plus 1. 1 is a whole number here. So this means that the LCM is 4. And we have that 4 divided by 4 here. This is 1. 
1 times minus 3, this is minus 3, plus 4 divided by, by 1 here, this is equal to 4, 4 times 1, this is 4. And therefore, we have here, this is minus 3 plus 4, this is equal to 1 over 4. So we have 64 raised to the power of square root of 1 over 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 8. So the square root of 1 over 4, this is the same thing as a half or 1 over 2. This should give us a value of 8. So this is 64 is the power of a half. This is the square root of 64. This should give us a value of 8. The square root of 64, this is 8, which is equal to 8. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the value of x here, which is minus 3 over 4, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.